Good evening. I want to take a moment to discuss the anti-Jewish bigotry that has taken place, not just in America, but all over God's earth. Here in America, it's happening on full display for all Americans and the rest of the world to see, considering that the world watches our major news media outlets like Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, and the other major networks, ABC, CBS, NBC. In many countries, it switched over to their language. So most of this video is dedicated to what we're seeing here in America. There are several members in the United States Congress led by Ali Khan Omar and Rashid Tlaib, backed up by AOC, Alexandra Acosta-Cortez, as well as at least 22 Republicans and many Democrats, but not all, that are anti-Jewish, anti-Israel, anti-American, they hate everything we stand for here in America. They hate our military. They hate our veterans. They hate members of law enforcement. They want to defund the police. And they are 100% against what the President of the United States, Joe Biden, is currently doing with support of Israel. They're trying to make the world believe and the American people believe that the majority of the earth, the humans on earth, are anti-Israel. And that is absolutely not true. Their rhetoric and the things they're saying on Twitter and their other social media platforms like Facebook is as anti as you can possibly get. It is disgusting and it is pathetic to see that adults that are highly educated and members of the United States Congress have become so stupid that are completely oblivious to history and especially history of World War II and what Nazi Germany did to the Jewish people. They, these members of Congress I'm talking about, are the new Nazi Germanies. They want to see every Jewish person dead. They want to see Israel destroyed. And sadly, their own country that they live in, being so anti American patriot, anti-police, anti-military and veteran. Why? Why are you even here? Why are you in our Congress? Well, the good thing, because of your platform and your ability to have so many people listen to what's coming out of your mouth, the good thing is the people of the world can hear you can see your tweets and the videos you're putting out full of hatred. You forget so easily what took place back during World War II and why we went to war with Germany. The Jewish people were led into ovens and cooked live. They were led into gas chambers and poisoned to death. Their bodies were tattooed with numbers. They became nothing but dirt to the German army, the Hitler regime, and they were treated less than human. In fact, 
Adolf Hitler wanted to eradicate all of them. And you people, members of our Congress, support that type of crap. What is happening in your little pea brains? Nobody knows. It's hard to understand. But what we are seeing happen across the America right now because of your rhetoric, especially on college campuses, is the young brains of our college students being indoctrinated into hatred towards the Jewish people and towards Israel. It was bad enough before this conflict started when they were being taught that the American flag is hatred, that our veterans are hatred, our military is hatred, our law enforcement is hatred. And now, because of what's coming out of Washington, D.C., members of our Congress, these college students with these brains that are not fully functional yet, are soaking this up like a sponge. And their hatred now is spewing out to other students on campuses, especially those that are Jewish, that now do not feel safe on campus because they're afraid of being attacked, beaten, or killed because of what you're saying. And again, the leaders of this or Congresswoman Rashid Tlaib, Congresswoman Alihan Omar, and Congresswoman Alexander Acosta-Cortez, AKA AOC, spewing hatred and trying to divide this country worse than it already is. What happened to Israel was horrible and disgusting and not one of you people spoke up against it. You said nothing. You were silent like crickets. When Hamas entered into Israel and started kidnapping not only Israelis, but Americans too. When they were slaughtering men, women, and children, chopping off the heads of babies for crying out loud. And when Israel strikes back, now you ramp up your rhetoric and you start pretending that Israel is the enemy and that Israel are the people that are responsible for the death and destruction of what's happening in Palestine and the Gaza Strip. Because you're too stupid to realize, number one, the people over there on the other side of the border from Israel, they allowed this terrorist organization to thrive in their homeland, in their area, and they did nothing to stop them. They allowed Hamas, a terrorist organization, to hide behind humans, innocent men, women, and children and have them as human shields. They allowed them to build their command and control structure in the basements of hospitals, schools, and different locations across the area where humanitarian aid is delivered. And then when aid does come in, Hamas takes it away from the people that need it and use it for themselves all at the same time are being sponsored by the Iranian regime. I, for one, do not advocate for war. I've seen it up close and personal, not once, not twice, not three times, but I've deployed with the United States Army four separate times and four separate combat tours I've seen the very best of humanity and the very worst of humanity. And I assure you that I am against war. 
But sometimes that has to happen. There's no other way. Good men must stand up to evil. If they do not, evil will thrive, which is what Hamas has been allowed to do. Israel made a point of thousands of phone calls, thousands of text messages, millions of leaflets sent across the border to tell the people, get out of the area and told them where to go so they would not be harmed. Most of them did. Many stayed behind. And now when Israel finds a Hamas leader or Hamas terrorist launching rockets into Israel from a freaking hospital, what do you expect to happen? How are we to defeat the enemy? There are casualties of war, sadly. Innocent lives get lost in war. That is just a fact of life. Sadly, that happens. Nobody wants to see it happen, but it does. But Israel has the right to defend themselves against this horrible hatred group of people that want to see them eradicated off this planet. And why members of the United States Congress think that's okay? I will never know. And probably no one else will either. Because we can't comprehend how dumb these people are. It's bad enough that you're screwing up everything we have here in America by your policy decisions. But now this... Are you kidding me? The world is watching Rashid Tlaib and Ali Han Omar and AOC and the members of the United States Congress, Republican and Democrat, that are siding with this evil that is attacking the Jewish people in American colleges up in New York and California, different locations throughout America and the world. We're watching. And when the pain and suffering comes to you for what you have done, you've got no one else to blame for it. I promise you, as an American patriot, as a veteran of the United States Army, as a veteran law enforcement officer, I will do everything in my power to see to it. You girls and guys do not get reelected into our Congress. There is no place in America for people like you that are so filled with hate in your hearts. You have exposed yourselves for what you are. No good, evil bigots. And you need to leave, resign, get out of our Congress. To the 20 or so Republicans that sided with the Democrats not to censor Rashid Tlaib, shame on you. That just means that you side with terrorists that want to kill Americans. That's how we look at you now, every one of you. And most of us sat back, especially combat veterans that have dealt with war in the Middle East before, said, why are you trying to censor her? You have the power to remove her from Congress, her and Ali Han Omar and AOC. And you went with censorship anyhow, and oh, that didn't work because Republicans sided with Democrats not to allow that to happen. I hope every one of you are removed from Congress because you are terrorist sympathizers, plain and simple. That's all you are. That's all you will ever be. I remember what happened to this country on 9-11. 
I deployed the war because of it. And people like Rashid Tlaib and Ali Han Omar made fun of it. They said things that are absolutely inhumane towards our military and our veterans. Just look at war-torn Somalia. Remember the movie Black Hawk Down? If you haven't seen it, you should. Well, in Ali Han Omar's eyes, the real terrorist that day <laughs> happened to be the United States Army, as far as she's concerned. That in itself should have had her removed from the United States Congress and deported out of this country. America saves her and her family as refugees, and we open our arms to them and bring them into America, and they turn around and shit on us. That is unacceptable behavior. What Rashid Tlaib is doing is unacceptable behavior. AOC, same thing. The Republicans that sided with the Democrats, oh, same thing. We're in some trying times on this planet right now. It's only going to get worse from here on out. Sadly, I see no end in sight. Our service men and women are under attack in numerous locations across the globe right now as I speak because of this, because America is standing with Israel and it's right to defend itself. Now our military is under attack. Members of our military are being injured in places like Syria and Iraq. And you people, as in Rashid Tlaib, AOC and Ali Han Omar and the Republicans that sided with them, the blood that they shed is on your hands. This is some evil, evil things that are taking place in our United States Congress. And why our Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, and the Department of Justice has not done something to arrest these terrorist sympathizers is beyond me. But I wish they would do their damn job and go knock on their door and tell them they need to shut up or lock them up. Because they're causing American citizens that happen to be Jewish to be injured all across the globe. And that is unacceptable. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving in the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders and their families, our angel families, our blue and gold star families and our country. And if you do not know what angel families are or blue and gold star families, please look that up because they need our support now more than ever before. Because just like what's happening with the Jewish people, there are many people in our government that are pissing on the graves of their loved ones. And that is unacceptable. Tune in on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central right here for the live Douglas Ducote Show. Until then, God bless you. May God bless the United States of America and the country of Israel and the Jewish people. Good night.